Right. In this video, we're going to show you how to set up the filters in New Vintage USA speedometers. All Phoenix and Direct Phoenix direct drive speedometers use the same filter uh, input style. So this applies to all New Vintage USA Phoenix and Phoenix direct drive speedometers. This allows the end user fine tuning of the input to allow the best operating condition. Resettable at any time in case of an input change, new engine, transmission, sender, etc. Three settings are available to achieve the best results on most senders. Enter the setup menu by holding in the remote programming button while turning on the vehicle power. The vehicle does not need to be running if desired. Then scroll to the input filter on the screen by tapping the button to move through the menu functions. This is referred to as scrolling. Stop on the desired input filter. Hold the button until you enter the filter screen. Set filter low, set filter medium, set filter high. Different settings will be discussed later in this video. Scroll to the desired setting, press and hold the button until you see set and yes. Press and hold the button until you see save. You can select no or go back and change as needed whenever you like. Another great feature about this setting is it can be changed during vehicle operation. Close course on the side of the road on a dyno and with a helper. The speedometer does not require resetting for the new filter to be activated. It will also be saved upon restarting of the vehicle. Now let's go through the input filters. All GM PCMs, whether it's a LS, Duramax, four cylinder, eight cylinder, six cylinder, doesn't matter. They all come from the factory with a 4,000 pulse per mile setting. So let's go ahead and set, depending on which uh, where you, which pin you take it out of the PCM, it'll either be medium or high. And we'll go ahead and we'll set it at 4,000 pulses per mile to get it uh, set up. This will get you in the ballpark. Uh, the aftermarket three wire sender that replaces the cable, sometimes called the pulse generator, these all have three wires. We're going to set that on high to get that up and running. The two wire aftermarket senders also replace the cable, except they have two wires instead of three. They put out an AC sine wave signal, and we're going to set that on low to get going. Uh, the OE two-wire sender, GM Ford, uh, everybody uses the same setup, similar setup. Uh, we're going to set that on low. That operates just like the aftermarket two-wire, except instead of being driven off the cable where the cable used to be, it's driven off of a uh, reluctor ring in the tail shaft. Um, one helpful hint on that is make sure you keep the ground wire short on that. That'll help get a good signal. The NV4500 is also a two-wire setup. We're going to set that on low, uh, but that does output a, a very high pulse rate. So we recommend you set that 108,000 pulses to get started. Um, that pulse rate is so much higher than what we ship the gauges at that, it, that you may think that the speedometer is not reading when it actually is reading just a very low speed. So I would set that at uh, low and 108,000 to get going. Uh, the Trimax speed sender, uh, this is a very weak signal, usually only 1.5 volts. Uh, we'll have a video on this later. Um, set it to low. The NVU speedometers will pick up a signal down to 1.5 volts. Uh, however, if you are having a trouble with that, um, all the Trimax transmissions, uh, the aftermarket versions anyway, have a cable output on them. And you can use a Ford style uh, speed uh, cable replacement sender and Ford gear. Um, and that'll get you up and running guaranteed. Uh, GPS senders, uh, aftermarket, uh, basically act like speed senders. Some are uh, have a two-wire signal, some have a three-wire signal. Uh, what's good about the new vintage uh, speed, uh, GPS speed senders is they uh, output 16,000 pulses per mile, set it on high, and it'll match up to the gauge perfectly, and you're all set. Just wire it up and off you go. A few things to keep in mind while uh, going through these is these filter settings uh, previously shown are suggested starting points. Some experimentation may be required to dial it in. The pulse counts described are good places to start to get up and running. New Vintage USA recommends the drive a mile feature to accurately calibrate the speedometer. We have more on this in another video. And if you need more help, feel free to reach out to us at our uh, email service at newvintageusa.com. Give us a call 248-850-5482 or you can get a hold of us on Facebook or Instagram Messenger and we'll uh, be more than happy to help you out.